What's going on guys? This is Carl with the Racer Red channel. I'm actually working on my 2018 Husqvarna TE250 right now. I've got a new wheel I'm putting on it. Or, sorry, not a new wheel, a new tire I'm putting on it. And I'm getting rid of tubeless. I've decided that the bib moose and tubeless are not my favorite. So I'm going back to super heavy duty tubes. I actually have two different wheels. One has a bib on it. The bib went bad, so it started folding off the rim, which was causing me to face plant, and that gets really dangerous. So, something that's good to know when you put a tubeless or a moose bib on your bike, rather, um, once that bib wears out, especially in the front, it becomes very dangerous, especially at speed, and it will fold over the rim and cause crashes. So, I've decided to go away from those. Uh, they are really expensive and you have to keep them fresh for them to work well. And also, I mean, if you're going to be going fast, it really doesn't handle well. So I've been using it for desert racing and I've noticed a lot, especially this year, of uh, my tires just failing horribly. It's good to uh, keep fresh ones in there if you're going to use them, but I'm deciding to go back to super heavy duty tubes. I've actually, uh, I've got a tubeless in the front, which I'm having taken out right now and, and replacing that. And the reason I'm going away from tubeless as well is because uh, tubeless is just as bad as anything else when it comes to on-trail repairs and just general failures if you have a rim that gets dinged up. Um, so, I mean, it, it just doesn't hold air very well. So, super heavy duty tube, I feel like that's going to be durable enough for me. And even if it's not, even if it does go flat eventually, I can throw another tube in there super easily. And it's really not a pain in the butt to get rid of and send and uh, put something else back in there. So that's my thought behind it. I think it's going to work well. So this is footage from Loon, the Loon Lake trip. And I wanted to highlight something that my bike does that I'm not sure that every bike does but I've noticed that a few of them do and I'm not sure what causes it. And that is when you go into a little bit of water with my bike, it dies. And this is not a little bit of water. This goes up, uh, it, it, it's just really deep water right here, but um, this particular motorcycle dies pretty easily when you go into water. And I think it has something to do with the ventilation tubes on the bottom of the bike. And right here, it almost makes it all the way through before it starts dying, but, uh, so it gets me to the other side before it dies all the way. And once everything drains out, then it will actually fire back up. But, uh, this is something I've experienced just, you know, just about every ride where I go through water and for it not to happen, the water has to be pretty shallow. So... Uh, it gets to be pretty inconvenient. I was wondering if any of you guys have experience with this. Uh, I'm not getting water in the intake at all when this happens. So it's definitely something else and I don't think it's the spark plug. I think the spark plug is actually not even close to the problem. It doesn't seem to be anyway. So it really seems to be not getting fuel or air when this happens. And uh, so far I'm thinking it's the vent tubes. But, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? So the Husqvarna got new graphics and plastic installed. I broke the front fender off during my last race. And uh, the bike just needed a, a refresh. It was looking pretty bad. So I took the time to just do some maintenance on it, like replacing the air filter and making sure it's nice and oiled up. And I will be getting my wheel back with the new tire and tube tomorrow so I will put that on the bike and it'll be ready to go and actually my truck is getting worked on right now as well so it may be a week or two before I can actually ride the the husky but I will be doing dual sport rides until then I'm gonna get um, really heavy into off-road riding again um, this next couple months and I'm actually going for another street bike ride in September. So that should be fun I may be doing a race in August like mid to late August. So That should be pretty fun as well. It's actually the dynamite XC. I think it's called It's like a Napoleon dynamite 
um, themed race, which is pretty awesome, I think. They're going to have a tetherball tournament, um, a football throwing tournament, and a dance-off. Uh, I don't know if it's part of the race or points or anything like that, but it's definitely part of the the event as a whole, and I think that's going to be pretty awesome. So I really wanted to show up and just be part of the experience this year. It looks super cool, So, and I'm a big fan of that movie. I really wanted to go check it out. I don't even think I've been in Preston, well, Idaho. So, yeah, definitely want to check it out. out. It Anyways, your, guys, um, I'm going to let you drain. just watch us uh, kind of work through our situation here. We're kind of just letting just things drain, drain out. out. And I was 95% sure that we just needed to let the bikes drain right here. But in the back of my mind, I did have that sense of dread and worry that, that the bikes were right doomed. There. And maybe we got water where it shouldn't have been. And uh, even in that case, we're, you're not doomed, but it's more work for sure. <laughs> Um, to get everything drained out and pulling everything apart, yeah, but it, uh, it, runs. <laughs> it, it just yeah. happened that both bikes fired right up after they drained out. So, now, um, that, yeah, I would perfect. like to prevent this issue in the future for sure. And, uh, I don't know how to go about it. So I was wondering if any of you guys have experience with it. Anyways, I will uh, catch you on the next one. Peace.